Hi, beloveds. So good to be with you again, and I get so excited to post on the channel with you. This is very much a collaboration, and I want you to know as you grow, I grow, and I also hope as I grow, you grow. So we're doing this together, and today I have an exciting, which I hope, I hope it's an exciting question for you, and that question is, has trauma, has childhood adversity stopped your evolution? Oh, wow. Now, I'm not going to put words in your mouth. I would never do that. But I'm guessing for some of you, the answer is no. Yes, there's fits and starts. Yes, there's times when the, the pace is fast and other times when it feels slow. But ultimately, it has not stopped our evolution. And right there, right there, that should be the signal that the highest service of childhood adversity, of childhood trauma, is to serve our evolutionary journey. So childhood uh, trauma at its highest service is designed to serve our awareness, to serve our mental growth to the state, to become into the state of, fee of, of awareness, to serve our emotional growth, our emotional holistic well-being, right? And also to serve our spiritual growth. That's the highest service of childhood adversity. So let's get on with, the with, with this. Let's get on board with this. How do we do that, right? Instead of having the traumas run our life, let's play out the traumas. Let's, in other words, let's let the traumas serve us from this perspective. Let's allow the traumas to help grow our awareness. Let's allow the traumas to help weave the emotional body weave the emotional body into a tapestry so it's more complete, more whole. We're less of an emotional doormat for our world. You know what I mean by that? I'll bet you do, <laughs> All right? Let's let it serve our spiritual growth so that we become the people, the beings on this planet that have healed those traumas and that we bring our whole being to the world and we transmit like that out like a little beacon, the health, the wellness, the understanding of what the experience of traumas are, right? And then the healing of those traumas, the integration of our being, let's beam that out to the world. So we're not played by the traumas anymore. We are playing the traumas. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I hope it makes sense. Okay. Also, let's get to a place where we don't take things personally. I'm going to tell you why. Everyone on this planet sees things, sees their storyline from where they're placed in the consciousness field. You got that? So wherever anyone is placed in this consciousness field, that's going to be their storyline. That's the emanation of the thoughts and their storyline for the day. So we need not take things personally anymore. People are just playing their storylines from based where they're, they are in the consciousness field. Wow. Right? Whew. Okay. The third thing is to uh, uh, relinquish the projection of our traumas outward. In other words, let's not anticipate our traumas ongoing. So what if we'd walk into a grocery store and not anticipate the trauma of people are looking at me or people think I'm different or people think I'm weird? Or what if we go into a meeting, right? We're in a meeting and we no longer anticipate the trauma by going into a meeting and diminishing ourselves. You know what I mean by that? The anticipation of the trauma. Whoa. What if we reeled that in, right? And brought it in to the midline and allowed the traumas to serve. We're not being played by the traumas. We are playing the traumas. Whole. Right? Then we start to get on the other side of this thing. Oh, and I know those dark moments and I know those moments of joy and I know the repetition. I know it like I know it like I know it. But let's start just like moving over to the other side of this, over the other side of this and letting it serve as it's designed to serve. There's some people here that will not awaken to their traumas. That's okay. When the seedling sprouts, when the seed sprouts, that's perfect for each individual. But you're awake. You've awakened to the effects of childhood adversity. 
you're gaining, maybe you're gaining understanding, maybe you're in the, you know, integration phase. Let's start playing it out. Let's start letting it serve, letting it serve, letting it serve, letting it serve in a myriad of ways. Okay? Can you see a little bit of excitement in there? Even if you're having a down day, I get it. Just a little bit of curiosity, a little bit of excitement in there. It becomes a more joyful process. And when we do this together with understanding in our community and we take the support of each other, oh, excuse me, got a little, got a little heart, heart moment there. Um, when then the pace quickens and there's a joy, a natural joy that will arise in this journey. Oh, all right, we're doing this together. We got this together, right? Together, together, holding hands. That's holding hands out there. And I'm sending you a big virtual hug. I want you to know that I'm here for you. I work with clients from all over the world. And if you're a student or a person on disability, I offer a 20% discount, all right? And let me know what you want for um, the topic of videos. I have some good ones coming up thanks to some suggestions, and please put your comments below, and I'll look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye.